house a wine right now Wine right now, take your time right Yo, now Welcome to Spooky TV and today we are going to talk about Lil Uzi Vert and Vibes Cartel So American rapper Lil Uzi recently changed his avatar on slow social media to the picture of dancehall artist Vibes Cartel Many fans have been wondering why is this rapper um, changing his, his social media pages, um, his main image to that of Vibes Cartel. However, in like two days prior to changing his image to Vibes Cartel's image, he mentioned um, that he was going to start bleaching. Now, this may be a shock value uh, ploy by Lil Uzi because it's no coincidence that it's, it's a black instrument when he decided to make this particular move. So maybe he just wants to go against the grain to say that, hey, I'm gonna bleach my skin on Black History Month because like we're in the era of clout chasing. So I would see where it would be the perfect time to get people talking about you to go against this whole entire Black empowerment movement at this specific time. You know, many of these rappers, they don't care about the situation and how it affects people. They just want to know uh, that I am being spoken about and so right now many persons are looking uh, a little oozy like this lady right now like is looking like what are you really up to you know that's that that side eye gesture when you're like what is this dude onto you know fans of vibes cartel are also wondering if that is why he chose to make that particular avatar with vibes cartel's image because vibes cartel is known to have changed his skin skin color and got a lot of popularity and create a lot of created a lot of conversation around his name due to the fact that he he boldly embraced skin bleaching so it is kind of like a toss up nobody knows what's really going on because nobody knows what's really going on it's like back in the day when jay-z uh admitted that he placed some type of images in his videos to provoke fans and when they asked him what does that mean you know he said Nobody knows. It's meant to be provocative. So this is Little Uzi's uh, social media page. This is his Twitter icon. His Twitter avatar is what they call it. And as you can see, he has a picture of Vibes Cartel showing his tattoo. And of course, the light skin, the virgin, the version of Vibes Cartel that persons know as, you know, white cartel, so to speak. And uh, many are wondering also if there's a collaboration is in the if there's a collaboration in the works with Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel himself has not posted anything to confirm or deny that there's any collaboration with Lil Uzi. However, Vibes Cartel is one of those artists that knows the the value of controversy, of shock value. And therefore, any publicity is good publicity for Vibes Cartel. And even if he feels like he's been taunted by, by Lil Uzi, you know what I mean, or been copied by Lil Uzi, he's not the type to really shun such attention because he knows that this is another f way of getting his feet wet in Lil Uzi's audience. Because Lil Uzi might not be popular in Jamaica, you know what I mean, but he's very popular in the United States. Mostly... Uh, the most familiar songs Jamaicans would know for a little Uzi would maybe be, uh, and I can't even say songs, to be honest, because as a Jamaican, like the most popular song known in Jamaica for a little Uzi is his featured verse on Migos single, uh, Bad and Bougie, you know, where we go, yeah, 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 one of my take it, yeah, one of my take it, yeah. Not my favorite rapper, to be honest, but, you know, that's what the millennials in the in the US are, are listening to, you know what I mean? He has a very young fan base with a lot of lyrics that are not really sophisticated so to speak you know so no one knows if this is going to be a giant collaboration or he's just mainly using vibes cartel's image to promote his recent tweet that he is going to indeed alter his skin color as well note you know little uzi is expected to release an album sometime soon and maybe he's using the skin bleaching strategy as a method of galvanizing his fans. Uh, we saw Spice uh, do something like that for her recent album. And she was all over social media. You know, uh, she, of course, she didn't really literally bleach her skin, but she used 
uh, makeup to enhance her, her skin tone to seem as if she was bleaching. And then she had a nice media run, you know, getting the media to come on board, you know, to interview her about skin bleaching while she promoted her album. Then she later revealed that, hey, I just I just took you off for a fool. I didn't <laughs> I, I, I didn't bleach my skin. You know what I mean? So maybe little Uzi is trying to use the same stunt because, of course, shock value always works when it comes to promotion. Michael Jackson um, garnered a lot of his attention because of his constant changing of his appearance. And Vibes Cartel basically had a rebirth of his career when he changed his skin tone. Because sure, people were fascinated and wanted to know, why are you doing this? And many were against him for doing it. But guess what? They were having conversation. And in the business of entertainment, when they're not talking about you, that is when you should start to worry. Once your name is in the conversation, something is going right. Yeah. So Lil Uzi Vert is one of the more corny types of rappers, but he apparently has a strong following, you know what I mean? Like sometimes he does these silly things and uh, people in the media, they don't hold him accountable for it. But they will hold a guy like Safari and accuse a Safari of being carny, but they don't say this dude is carny, which I could never understand. But if there is indeed a collaboration in the works, that would definitely work in the favor of World Boss. And I would definitely like that to happen. Yeah, man, I'm definitely here for a world boss and little Uzi Vert collaboration. Not so much for a little Uzi Vert's verses, but you don't know. Anything that Vibes Cartel is a part of, it's definitely something that's worth listening. I'm out, Spooky TV.